Good morning, my fellow friends, my fellow believers, my fellow Americans. Good morning to you all. It is a great privilege to be on the studios of the Evangelist Ministry and preach the gospel to all of you, my friends. From the studios of the Evangelist Ministry, we spread the good news about Jesus Christ and His saving grace. Our mission, the mission of this ministry is to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. The topic of this morning is pursuing wisdom, seeking wisdom. If this morning we open the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 1 to 8, the Bible said, the Bible said this way, my friends, hear my children the instruction of a father and give attention to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine to not forsake my love. When I was my father's son, tender and the only one in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, let your heart retain my word, keep my commands and leave. Get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget, nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom in all you get. It. Get understanding. Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. Wow. Wonderful thing, my friends. In this morning, in this Sunday morning, we bring the subject pursuing wisdom. Let's talk about King Solomon again. King Solomon wrote that wisdom is the first thing to be acquired. We live, in today's days we live in the information age, where news pops up on cellular phones, and college can be attended online. It's not wonderful, but I have noticed I have noticed that although we are surrounded by a lot of knowledge, but my friends, there is not much wisdom. Because, my dear friend, knowledge and wisdom is two different stories. Let's think about this, my friends. Godly wisdom is the capacity. I say that godly wisdom is the capacity to see things from the Lord's viewpoint and respond according to the scripture principle. It's not wonderful. Did I tell you all about wisdom? Let me tell you again. Godly wisdom is the capacity to see things from the Lord's viewpoint and respond according to the scriptural principle. You cannot instantly download the ability, but you can acquire it gradually over the time. It's not beautiful. And the book of James chapter 1 verse 5 said, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be 
given unto you. So my dear friends, I said that godly wisdom is the capacity to see things from the, the good Lord viewpoint and respond according to the scriptural principle. I will tell you this morning, you cannot instantly download the ability, but you can acquire it gradually over the time. Let me tell you this morning about this. In God's opinion, the most valuable treasure to be had is wisdom. Proverbs Prover, chapter 8 verse 11 said, For wisdom is better than rubies. Oh, praise Jesus, hallelujah. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the things. One my desire cannot be compared with her. My dear friends, believers need his perspective and his principle to live the Christian life. That's why acquiring wisdom is not a suggestion, but it's a commandment. Let's think about that. It's a commandment. I would say that get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget, nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. Let's think about that. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget, do not turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. This is what the verse 5 and 6 of Proverbs 4 say. Think back the stories about gold fever in this country. Let's think about that. Let's think about, about the story about the gold fever. During the 19th century gold rush, people risked their lives in a single-minded quest for riches. Wisdom is, is, I said, is worth so much more than a vein of precious metal, my friends. In comparing the two, the Lord called us to passionately pursue godly knowledge and godly discernment, my friends. Verse 8 said, exalt her. It's talking about the word of God. Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. My dear friends, let's come back. Let's think about, my dear friends, let's think about, let's think back to the stories about gold fever during the 19th century gold rush. People risk their lives in a single-minded quest for riches. That's why the Bible said this way, my friend. In verse 8, wisdom is worth so much more than a vein of precious metal. In comparing the two, the Lord called us to passionately pursue godly knowledge and discernment. My dear friends, let's personify wisdom who said, I love those who love me, and those who diligently seek me will find me. That is Proverbs 8.17. My dear friend, I said that God, God will see too that believers who pursue wisdom acquire it for sure. Moreover, when the desire of our heart is something with lasting value, we will receive a bonus knowledge, prudence, and discretion. That's why, my dear friends, remember, come back again, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and all you get it, get understanding. 
You see, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 12, said, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge and discretion. Let's think about, let's come back to Solomon, King Solomon, the wisest man of the Bible, King Solomon, wrote that the beginning of wisdom was to acquire, to determine it in your heart to pursue this great treasure. As you study the word, Seek the Lord's will and observe His principle in action. God will pour wisdom into your mind and spirit if you ask for. Because the Bible said in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 5, if, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach. And it will be given to him. Wonderful. My dear friends, we can get it to a wise conclusion. We can get to a wise conclusion this morning, this Sunday morning. We will, my dear friend, get it to a wise conclusion. Because we're talking about wisdom. We must end in this sermon with a wise conclusion. Get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget. Nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you always. My dear friends, pursuing wisdom is very important. Godly wisdom, my friend. Let's, let's not forget about this. Godly wisdom is the capacity to see things from the Lord's viewpoint and respond according to a scriptural principle. Let's have that in mind. I know, my dear friend, that you cannot instantly download that particular ability, but you can acquire it gradually over the time. The book of James chapter 5 said, If any of you lack of wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach. My dear friends, have a good morning. Have a good Sunday. God bless you and give more wisdom, a lot more than you have at this moment. But my dear friend, think about this. King Solomon wrote that the wisdom is the first thing to be acquired. We live in the information age where news pops up on cellular phones and college can be attended online. But I have noticed something, something very special. Although we are surrounded by a lot of knowledge and there is not much wisdom. Think about that. Have a good day. Have a good Sunday. And God bless you. And God bless America. Because America is a wonderful place to live. God bless you and God bless America. Because America is the America of my dreams. God bless every one of you. Thank you for allowing me to preach in this morning. Thank you, thank you. God bless you all.